Hi VC, this is Bev here um, at Clerical Vision and I've got an update. I was hanging off, I thought, we'll wait till everything arrives, but I'm not going to wait till everything arrives because there's actually a few things I've got here to show and with the Easter weekend just passing I've um, ordered a few more things. So I'm just going to get this lot out of the way now because if I wait till they're all here, this could turn into a half hour video. So, because <laughs> you know what I'm like. <laughs> so the goal is to not hold that. Um, so yeah, this is just an update on uh, some latest additions to the collection. Um, so I hope you all had a, a good Easter weekend. Um, I took an extended holiday this week. I took an extra couple of days off. So um, I'm back at work tomorrow. I'm off today, off yesterday. I've been off since Good Friday. But uh, and therefore plenty of time to browse the music places on the internet. That was what I, I've been doing some of. So I'm just going to get right into this. I've got a couple of cassettes, I've got records and CDs. Um, and today I just picked up this magazine, uh, rock, the latest issue of Rock Candy. Um, that's the reason why. So, um, yeah. <laughs> The ridiculous thing for this is it's actually £7.99 for a magazine. It's outrageous. Outrageous. It really is. I don't know where they get their ideas from, but never mind. So, the cassettes we'll start off with. Um, I was on eBay and this guy had two cassettes he was selling in the one auction. Two uh, starting with a fiver. And... Uh, well, £2.50 each. I'm going to go for that because that's why um, they look like uh, they kind of look like a very early pressing um, British pressings of On Through the Night and Hang Dry. Now, I already have copies of these, but I know for a fact that On Through the Night was a later issue. Um, Hang Dry is an early one, but it's slightly different to this one. So, again, they were in excellent condition. Um, this one has uh, green labels on it on through the night and it's made in England. It says here on the, the side, uh, Vertigo label, 1980. And it was very straightforward inlay card. Um, that's basically it. Um, but it, it's honestly, you know, it says at the bottom here, which is kind of, it's just one of these things. As the playing time of the two sides may be of unequal length, please wind the tape on to the end before turning over. Just in case you were new to cassettes, obviously, at this point. So, um, but yeah. So, I'm it's really chuffed to get these because they're in excellent condition. So, and high and dry again. Um, the be stereo thing at the bottom of them as well. And this also has the green label um, and this one says not made in England but it says made in Britain I don't know if you can make that out with a, a sort of light reflecting there made in Britain but again same setup basically 1981 Vertigo and the inlay card in this one is slightly bigger um, you get an extra page um, so definitely would high and dry track listing uh, details of the band, I mean pictures of the band, basically there, so lovely stuff, so I was thrilled to add these uh, and next up, um, this uh, this was somehow spotted on eBay as well and I was surprised and it was an auction style and I thought I'd have a go and again, a uh, different seller but he was selling um, this and another, um, in fact the other one, I've, I've won it as well, it's level 42, but um, I'm primarily bidding it for this, to get a hold of this one, and it's uh, Animal, and it's the CD video, kind of like the Laserdisc style things, but um, this is, um, so it's PAL TV, and this was issued, obviously there was a few from Hysteria. They also issued Rock of Ages. I think it must have been a promotional thing for the CD video happening at the time. Um, 
So I'm not sure if I've got all of them now or if there's just one I need to get regarding the Def Leppard collection. Um, if I do, I think it might be Rocket um, as on the CD video version. But, um, Animal's pretty tricky to get hold of. It's also very hard to get on the CD single, which I've still to try and track down. Um, that's still on my list, but um, you know, it can be expensive to get. But so the CD video, um, they, they come in the gold instead of the silver colour, and you have basically you've got. Uh, on here, audio you have Animal, the extended version, Animal, the regular version, and Tear It Down, which was the B side, and you also get the video for Animal as well, which was kind of it was a cool video actually. I mm, kind of liked how they did that video. So, another piece of brilliance CD video. Um, CDs I picked up, um, some of these were kind of on sale. Um, so I've got some from Nuclear Blast and some from Frontier's website. Um, Unisonic, um, the first album that came out from Unisonic, I've got the second one, but this is a self-titled. Again, Michael Kiske and Kai Hansen uh, and other people, um, this is pretty cool. I just wanted to, to have this because um, I do quite like the Unisonic stuff, um, pretty cool. Um, so I was very happy at that. 11 tracks here, produced by Dennis Ward. This is on Ear Music, and this one came out in 2012. Um, so that's Unisonic self title. And then the next three are Digipacks, <laughs> but this again was going cheap, um, so I thought I, I grabbed it. Um, Running Wild, Rapid Foray, I don't have this one, and it's the Deluxe. So, was it a deluxe version? Oh, I think it's just how it's just the standard version, but this this is not a reissue because this is a a more recent album. It's this is actually a 2016 album this one came out. Um in fact I don't know if this is the most recent one from Lone Wild. Not hundred percent, but it could be the most recent. So either this or resilient, these two are fairly recent. I think I think it's this one. So rapid for a um 11 tracks on here and I thought well if it's going at that price then I'm, I'm having it and it's got one of these nice um, digipacks it opens out like that and um, these ones are quite decent for being digipacks you get the booklet here and this opens out into a poster it's a poster of kind of the front cover I think or is it the skull and bones thing um, I mean, it's kind of nice to have these for the CDs, but the only problem is you get so many folds because, um, there we are. Ah, it's not exactly the front color, cover, but it's kind of themed on, yeah, it is the front, I didn't care. <laughs> it's part of the front cover anyway, so it's kind of done in an old style frame. This side you have kind of like a bit of a ship and some kind of I think this is maybe a quote from one of the lyrics here on this bit. So, um, but yeah. So that was kind of cool. Um, I, I won't be doing anything with it. I'll just be staying here. And uh, the booklet again. Now, for this album, I think um, for the most part, the songs at this point are all written and the music and the lyrics are all by rock and roll. Um, uh, and the people involved in the production is Brock and Rolf, Nicky Noe, Peter Jordan, Michael Walpers, um, and a couple of other people. And who? Uh, and it says Running Wild live are Brock and Rolf vocals, guitar, Peter Jordan guitar, back and vocals, Ollie Hempelman bass and back and vocals, and Michael Walpers drums. So these are the the kind of guys that he was working with currently. Um, because you know, Running Wild effectively dissolved, but Rolf himself, I think, I think he's still um, carrying the the thing on, um, and he obviously plays live with these guys um, who are none of the others are original members of Running Wild. Um, however, I have noticed there's a lot of criticism about the later stuff not being 
nearly as good as the old stuff and I can kind of get that. Um, I have listened to this album um, and to, to be quite honest with you, it's okay. It's it's, it's done in the run and wild style of course, but um, that there's nothing on it that's got the actual, I don't know, the feel of the older stuff that I've got, you know, um, Port Royal and Under Jolly Roger, etc, Branded in Exile, um, uh, Death or Glory, it's, it's nowhere near as, as good as these albums are, um, but you know, it's it's still pretty cool and um, I'm I'm getting their whole catalogue anyway, so um, but I'll go back and give it a few more listens. But uh, just at first listen, uh, there was nothing overly uh, fantastic, I would say, about this one. So that's Running Wild 2016 record for A. Next Digipack. Now, this I was nearly leaving behind when I saw this was on sale. Um, <laughs> pretty means, and this is louder than ever. This one and this this is a deluxe and um, it's a CD with bonus DVD. Um, this is Frontiers it's a CD track list, which you probably won't be able to make out too well. And the bonus DVD. Um, so this one is um, 2014. This came out, um, and the bonus DVD has a retrospective of the Motherland World Tour. So. They have an album, Mother uh, Motherland. So, um, and I don't know if this is kind of a live album. I really, I haven't put it on yet, so I don't know if this is a live album, or if it's just tracks from this period from the studio. Um, but yeah, the bonus DVD says a retrospective of the Motherland 2013 World Tour includes archive footage from early stages of the band's career, interviews backstage, studio footage, and the usual. Freakiness, it says, plus promo videos for Little Drops of Heaven and Mother of All Lies. Now, these two promo videos are not in this track listing, so they're like bonus tracks as well. Um, so I think this is live, the CD, but I, as I say, I've not put it on yet. If anyone else has it and they know, let me know. Again, this one is a nice digit pack, and because it's got the two discs, we've got the booklet in the middle, CD and DVD. Um, so yeah, put there and the chaps and pretty maids. Yeah, there is a, a centerfold picture of the band there. This is Ronnie Atkins, um, he's one of the main guys, and the other guy who's been here f since the beginning is Ken Hammer, the guitarist. So these two I know are are founding members, I think. Um, so cool stuff indeed. So haven't. Put this one on yet, I'm excited to do that. And uh, the last of the digi packs now, because this was on sale as well, and I thought, well, I'm gonna go for this. Um, because I went and sampled a couple of the tracks on YouTube, and for the most part, they sounded great. Now, a lot of people love, love this band, uh, I've seen plenty of people talk about them in the vinyl community, um, and they are uh, well loved. And I have never owned anything by them before. Um, so I've no idea if this album I've got is rated as a good one or a bad one or middle of the road or what. Um, from what I've heard so far, it's okay to me. Um, it sounds pretty decent, and it's a 2013 release on Frontiers, Striper, and No More Hell to Pay is the album, and this is obviously a deluxe edition with a bonus DVD. Um, there's their trademark black and yellow <laughs> there. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to go for it. That's a good price. It was about five or six euros that it was going for. Um, again, on the Digipack, CD, DVD, and the booklet in the middle. Um, the artwork's pretty cool on this as well. Um, actually, the artwork and that's pretty cool as well. I was looking closely at it and um, down here there's all these are like tiny human figures and it's like the water so it's almost put me in mind of um, in Exodus you know when God splits the water and the, the, the people are being led out of Egypt on the seabed kind of that kind of thing 
in a way, but I don't think that's what it's modelled on, obviously, but it's kind of what it reminded me of. But yeah, um, this looks pretty cool as well. So, my first um, album from Striper. Let me know what you guys think, those of you that have this one. Um, I've had a quick listen to some of it. I've not got the whole the whole uh, thing listened to yet, but as I say, I've quite liked what I've heard so far. So this must have been an album or two before the current one, which Tim Lines just did a review about. I watched that yesterday. Um, yeah, as if this one was 2013, so yeah, there must be a, a couple of albums between the current one and this one, maybe. So there you are, no more hell to pay. Uh, quickly now on to the vinyl, um, which I picked up. This is also Frontiers, and this is Nordic Union, Second Coming. Now, Nordic Union, this is their second in the, the project, obviously, there is another one, which I think is, is it self-titled? Um, but this was at a, a, a good price as well, it wasn't too bad, so I thought I'm going to have this because um, I'm keen to hear what they sound like as well. But the Nordic Union is a project between Ronnie Atkins of Pretty Maids and Eric Martinson of the band Eclipse. Um, and Eric Martinson as well has been working he's been working on a project with Jeff Scott Soto in the WET project he's on that as well um he's been involved in a few things Eric Martin actually but he's, he's really good um I like him anyway and so yeah this is Gatefold um that's Lonnie Atkins if you can see through the glare and Eric Martin's in there so um Nordic Union obviously because it's a Swedish guy and a Danish guy and um, it's just a single record and it just came in a plain um, white sleeve if you can get it out it um, wasn't probably lined so I have sorted that and the vinyl is just the black but it has a nice uh, custom, custom label there so there we have it and it's 180 gram this one so it's kind of nice and solid so that's the uh, Nordic Union. And because this was also cheap, um, I decided to get this on vinyl, Unisonic. You've already seen me show it on um, CD. And um, as it just so happens, <laughs> this came with a copy of the, the album on CD as well. Um, so this will be getting VCLT to somebody at some point. Because I don't need three copies of it. Um, Gatefold again, it's pretty nice. And again, this one is also just on black. Um, this when you get a nice inner sleeve with it. And um, there we are. Lyrics and um, more lyrics. <coughs> the record is again just black with a custom label on it. There we have it. So that's pretty cool. This one isn't 180, it's a little bit lighter, but still pretty solid. So there we have it. That's Unisonic. I'm going to put these over here because uh, the heating's just come on for some reason. I don't know why, it's not warm enough for that, so uh, bear with me, I'll just put these in here. <coughs> And again, I picked this one up because the price was pretty decent. Also, um, this is great. Absolutely adore this Night Demon. Um, I think this is the previous one to the one I picked up. Darkness Remains. That's the one I got um, a couple of weeks back. And I saw this price decently and I thought, yep. Yeah. And this is, I'll, I'll, I think... At the moment, I slightly like this one better than uh, Darkness Remains, but um, they're both great. Um, so this band is brilliant. Again, a bit of an Iron Maiden influence about them, but, um, but yeah, they're really good. Kind of uh, the new wave of the new wave of British heavy metal style. Um, 
So there we have it. And this one as well, this is on Steam Hammer SPV. This came with a copy of the the album on disc. This one just comes in a plain sleeve. Um, it's a gatefold. So you have the lyrics here. Quite creepy looking artwork. I, I do like the album cover, this, this sinister chap here though. I wouldn't like to bump into him in a dark alley, but um, that's good. Um, And it has a. <laughs> that's a wee bit. These are a bit more freaky looking graphics, almost like a, a cartoon comic thing. That these are quite uh, disturbing as far as I'm concerned. So I'll just not look at them. But um, on this side, you've got thank yous and everything um, there. And the vinyl is 180 gram, but it's the standard black. Night Demon, Curse of the Damned. So. Fantastic. I uh, do recommend this band. They're really good. Um, and last one, the last one I got, I can't believe this is 21 minutes. How have I babbled for that? <laughs> this was another eBay find and I was quite astonished to come across this. Um, it was priced at £7.95, delivered, free postage. It was brand new and sealed. I thought, is it a reissue? Have they reissued this? But I don't think it's a reissue. I think this is an original 1987 US pressing. <clears throat> and it was from a seller in the UK. Um, I used to have this album on CD. But I got rid of the CD and I was quite disappointed that I had got rid of it because um, I've been kind of wanting to listen to the music again. So. Um, I was astonished when I came across this um, and I, I jumped right in there because at that price um, it's not it's not a metal band either, they're kind of like a, a kind of soft rock, pop rock kind of band um, but it's the Connells um, and Boylan Heights um, I, I discovered this band in 1993 because in 1993 they released a song called 7475 and it got into the UK charts and we'd never heard of them before in this country until then and uh, I loved that song. I got the CD single which I no longer have. I bought the album Ring which 7475 is on. Um, I do still have that CD. It's the only CD I kept for some reason. Um, and then I went and got this one on CD and another one, One Simple Word I think it was called. Um, but I got rid of them for some reason, I don't know why, but this is a great album. I just love the sound that they produce. Um, really clean, funky, well not funky, but interesting uh, guitar sounds. Um, and just really good melodies. And But yeah, it is indeed. It's on TVT Records, 1987. And it is a US press. Um, but it's a really enjoyable, it's a really good album. So I was absolutely thrilled to bits to get it. And as I say, it was in a in shrink. Um, and it's got a, an inner sleeve, which um, kind of looks like this. It did have a, it was folded over there. Um, and on this side, I don't know if you, how well you can make it out, but there's a little tear just there. Um, but. I'm guessing that's just been that way since it was sealed. Um, it's, it's just a lot thinner, um, it's more paper-like than some of the other ones I've just shown. But, um, so yeah, that's the lyrics there and it's the, uh, the band members on that side. And the record itself is uh, it's a fairly thin standard uh, black. Um, and there we are, the Connells, Boylan Heights, uh, TVT, yep, so absolutely chuffed to get that for $7.95. So that's my update. Um, I will uh, end this video just now. <laughs> and I hope you've made it to the end. Apologies. I will try and keep these things shorter. I'll keep trying, but I keep failing, I think. Anyway, so um, I'll see you all in another video and um, bye just now.